and welcome to a video on um, reducing noise on Lightroom. This is kind of a follow on from my last uh, video. This is exactly the same image we were left with. Um, so I just want to show you kind of briefly the capabilities of uh, reducing noise. I think this picture is a bit noisier, which is the one we did before. There we go, that's like so much worse. Uh, so we're going to just kind of tone this down a bit, but still keep all of the detail how i know like how can you even save this <laughs> you're thinking without it just being a blurred blob well we're going to go down um and we're going to go to the sharpening and noise reduction section so first of all you want to hold alt and you want to mask your um image so you kind of want to just keep the detail of the owl and make the backing almost completely black i zoom out and do that because it's probably a bit easier to see um, so that's not enough detail so I kind of want to bring that back a bit okay so it's only going to really affect um, <coughs> the black areas now so it's, that's for the sharpening so we want to reduce the noise you kind of want to focus on a point where there's finer details because that's where you're going to see I mean you can't do it zoomed out really because you can't really tell the amount of uh, detail you're losing so first of all you want to bring your noise reduction up you can bring it all the way up and you can see it's just completely fuzzed everything out it's not i mean from a distance it doesn't look so bad but when you when you go in there you can see that it's kind of really lost a lot of detail Um, you can try and pick out some of the detail using the detail tool and um, the noise does come back a little bit um, you got colour noise as well, so um, that's always handy to change. I would never go to 100% <laughs> at the end of the day, you don't want to do that. So let's kind of bring it to, that's already a real improvement, and you can bring the detail up a little bit. And now this is where you can kind of sharpen your image, and it does bring the noise back, so it's where you can kind of go down and add a little bit more noise reduction and so on. And the radius is kind of like uh, how wide it does the sharpening uh, sometimes it can turn into a bit of an oil painting looking thing if you bring these kind of things up a little bit so you don't really want to do that um okay so if we can go down and look at other parts of the image like this bird's eye and beak it's kind of really fuzzed out there so um i, I do want to bring the color noise up uh, so I'm going to sharpen it a bit more but you just need to make sure when you're doing it that you're checking the rest of your image and not just focusing on this area here so you need to go back out and over here and, and just to check kind of how it is but as you can see already look at the difference between the noise it's so much better uh, the, the image itself already looks better just the quality just here um just so much better i can't really say it any other way um i could try it on a different image for you let's go for one that i haven't really done i think i've done all of those really let's just try that one Oh no, I've done that one. Okay, well let's just kind of, let's have a go with this one. So, yeah, not so great. You're on your sharpening and everything and you want to mask it first, remember that. Uh, you're better off zooming out to mask it, like I said, in the first place this is hard because there's a lot of stuff going on in this picture um, so I'm going to bring up my noise reduction you see how it kind of goes to like a fuzzed out oil weird oil painting thing I mean even that doesn't look so awful does it but it's just about playing around with what you feel is acceptable um, when it comes to 
editing pictures. You see the rate that when I put the detail up on here, like how it just kind of looks like a bit of, bit of a painting. It's the same when you bring the radius up and down. Uh, anyway, you get the gist. It's it's a really good tool, um, and I definitely recommend using Lightroom for anything like that. Um, please check out my other video, which was about um, changing individual colours in using Lightroom. All right, thank you very much.